Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law and through this channel I'd like to bring you some stock analysis and a short 5 minute trading lesson at the end so please stay tuned. Okay, so in terms of the previous day's trading, I think we can all agree it was one of those days that we wanted to just basically switch the application off, not look at what's going on and uh, so in other words, we don't have to worry about what is happening. However, uh, the next question that I had quite a few comments on is, is this a stock market crash? So it did feel like a stock market crash. Lots of lots of stocks were down well in excess of 20%. Officially, it's not a crash at the moment. So what it is, is it is a significant market correction. Uh, in terms of why it's not a stock, there was it's from a Nasdaq point of view, the Nasdaq was was not down overall sufficiently to make it officially a crash. So it's not a crash. Banking banking sector is doing okay. The oil sector is doing okay. From our point of view, the EV sector has been hit hard. Fuel, uh, clean energy fuels has been hit hard. Penny stocks have been hit hard. And also pharmaceuticals have been hit hard. So, and uh, the other thing is uh, crypto, Bitcoin, that was also hit hard. So it did, from, from that point of view, it did feel like a crash. So I am going to give you some uh, strategies to deal with this near the end. So please stay tuned. I'm going to give you some advice in terms of when I think uh, your profits will come back and what you can do in terms of going forward so stay tuned to the end for that so uh, let's now move on to today's stock analysis so just before i start the stock analysis this is an article from market watch dated 4th of march and this is just to confirm uh, stock market crash question mark no but a rising bond yields are sparking a nerve-wracking rotation below the surface so um, as i just said it is a significant market correction I do see it um, continuing for a while and I also do see some recovery. So I'm going to give you more details about that shortly. So let's move on now to stock analysis. Okay, so stock analysis for today is for ticker symbol LKCO. So this is a stock that I did bring you earlier. It was a high risk penny stock and with lots of potential. Uh, however, I did cash out on this. It was an extremely volatile stock. As I said, I sold this at $1.60 and I'm now possibly considering uh, re-entering this stock which has continued its volatility due to the stock market correction however there have been some developments but nothing concrete so what I would like to do is share some of these developments so a quick recap for people who are, do not know much about this stock so Lukong Tiximal LKCO so let's have a look at their website in terms of a reminder of what they do so they are a leading interactive travel service company based in China. Uh, they are a forward-looking innovative company that previously at one time were trading uh, in excess of $10. So they have lots of technology, including um, satellite and drone, remote sensing image data, HD map, internet two-dimensional and three-dimensional application maps, real-time trajectory, industrial stream data. So it's very, very forward-looking. It has lots of potential. Lots of applications, especially in cloud-based industries, IT-based industries, uh, the drone sector and the cloud sector. So lots and lots of potential. However, uh, on the bad news, it has been chosen to be delisted from the government, uh, Trump government. And this is something that has led to significant decline in the share price, which at one point was, as I said, $10, but now it's close to $1. So going forward... Uh, this is a very, very risky stock. It is a stock that I invested in, but I did cash out due to the volatility. But it is one that I'm looking to re-enter. So what are the other developments? So let's start with an article here from Pulse. Uh, this is article dated March the 3rd. And the headline here is LKCO stock price fell 19.74%. And why did it happen? However, as we know, because of the market correction carrying on, this price has now, this fall has now increased much, much more. But let's just have a look at this article. So let's delve a little bit deeper into 
what, what we can find. So we can say that from this article, Liu Kong have announced that they have sought clarification uh, in terms of the deadline. And in terms of the deadline, what we are looking at here for clarification of the deadline, the deadline could be March the 15th, 2021 or May the 27th, 2021, depending on whether the general license defined below applies to Liu Kong and the updates relates to Liu Kong's previously issued statement. So let's have a look at the breaking news now. Okay, so the breaking news for Tiximil LKCO here is from a news article from uh, released from Bloomberg and it's dated the 5th of March 2021. So let's have a look at the headline. So the headline here is Liu Kong has decided to sue to get off the Trump blacklist of Chinese companies. So let's delve a little bit deeper into here. Liu Kong was one of the eight companies added to this uh, list in terms of being so-called communist Chinese military companies. Liu Kong, for, for clarification, has denied this. And uh, let's uh, go into the second part of this article. And we can see that obviously US officials have not provided Liu Kong with any explanation in terms of why it was included in this blacklist. There are the other companies on there as well. So under the des designation, US citizens are barred from trading this stock after the March the 15th and must divest their holdings by January the 14th, 2022. So there is time. However, as we know, Liu Kong is based on the is listed on the Nasdaq. It's not listed on the OTC. Uh, the share price has been falling significantly, and from this development, we can see, in terms of what what the re why this happened, this happened under President Trump's government. What we have now have we have a new government in terms of Biden. There could be a new approach, and with this development in terms of what we're just seeing right now, uh, Liu Kong taking. Uh, action to court in terms of removing this blacklist this could be very positive for the stock if this is successful because obviously they haven't they are denying all the allegations they are saying we are not affiliated to the Chinese government we're not part of uh, you know we, 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 we are not part of these uh, allegations that are being suggested they do, do they have no affiliation whatsoever they're not involved in any Chinese military operations so that's the denial uh, in terms of the stock and in terms of investors, the potential of this, if they are removed from this list, is uh, immense. So at the moment, we're looking at just over $1. And if this is, action is successful, I think there will be a very, very significant spike in the share price. But remember, this is a very high risk stock with tremendous potential. But what's also happening right now as we're in the market with very significant correction at the moment. This is uh, something that we have to be very, very careful with. So what's the strategy? Let's have a look at the strategy now. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at the three month chart for uh, Tixamil LKC Ho, Liu Kong Technology Corporation. And what we can see here that it was trading just under a dollar up to February. And when we saw the spike, this spike kind of happened around about the 7th of February all the way up to the 14th of February when it, it closed well in excess of three dollars. Since then there has been momentum downwards and right now we're looking at one dollar thirteen uh, at close so it's uh, quite a significant fall so what this also represents is a potential buying opportunity in terms of myself I will not be investing in this unless it goes below one dollar. And that is certainly because of the current climate. That is because of the market. That doesn't mean I don't see any potential in this company. It's just because of uncertainty. It's because of the market correction, because of market volatility. I I would not be reinvesting in this unless it hits below $1. So if you are considering this as, a, as an investment, certainly consider investing in this under $1. Yeah, at the moment, it's too risky, but the rewards could be yeah, tremendous going forward so certainly put this on your watch list but my advice on this one is consider an investment under one dollar if you have already invested then certainly consider holding uh, if you have profits I'm, I'm sure you should have taken them by now okay so now it's time for lesson of the day okay so today's lesson of the day is looking at strategies to use when there is a market correction so again just to uh, reinforce what I said earlier this is not officially 
a market crash. It does feel like a market crash for certainly many investors. Uh, the other thing I would like to say in terms of my personal opinion of when um, this will uh, recover in terms of any lost profits or any investments that you have that were at the peak. Uh, the peak, I think, for most investors was about just about just over two weeks ago. That's when we were at the peak in terms of return. In terms of getting back to that, in my personal opinion, I think we're looking at probably July, June or July. So the market will recover. The good news is in 100% of all market crashes, the market has recovered. So that's a little bit of reassurance. So let's now look at some strategies that I can recommend in terms of going forward. So strategy number one uh, is consider rebalancing your portfolio. So consider rebalancing. So what that basically means, look at can, uh, maybe a little bit more diversification. So some stocks that you may not have considered before, such as oil industry, it would, would possibly be good for a growth stock. Another stock that would be good in terms of rebalancing would be the stocks in the airline industry. So they would be also a good stock going forward in terms of rebalancing. Uh, and also uh, so more solid stocks such as Amazon, Microsoft, uh, Google, etc. So these kind of stocks would be a, a little bit more good in terms of rebalancing your, your portfolio. The other advice that I can give is look at your portfolio, look at your best stocks and best advice for those stocks is to hold. So the stocks that you are confident are going to recover. So these will certainly include things like Neo. They're going to include things like Tesla. They're going to include uh, Alpine for technologies. They're going to also include, I, in my certainly in my opinion, although it's a penny stock, is American Battery Metals. I think that will make a very, very good recovery going forward. Uh, certainly all the pharmaceutical stocks as well, which are significantly down, such as six symbol BNGO, Pack B is down, uh, six symbol SENS, that is down. So the pharmaceutical stocks are down, but I am confident that they will recover as well. So certainly consider holding for, for these stocks that you have confidence in. And the more risky penny stocks, uh, it could be an idea to consider cutting your losses. Uh, certainly, you know, uh, I have done that with some stocks, uh, tick symbol ATVK, I, I came out of that one. Galaxy, I did come out of that one as well. Although, I, you know, I have full confidence in the company, but restrictions on trade has driven down volume. So I am currently out of that as well. So any other similar stocks, it, it might be worth consider rebalancing and, and looking at them. So, uh, just to kind of finish off, uh, the market will recover. We will get back to where we are. It might take a little bit of time, but in my personal opinion, I am looking at the date I'm giving is probably around about July. So there will be a little bit more volatility. There will be a little bit more uh, continuation of the correction, but I think slowly once that's eased, we could be getting some good news this weekend from the American government. And hopefully they will, we'll see a st slow and steady um, movement back upwards and fingers crossed more profits returning. Thank you very much uh, for joining me. Hope that helps and stay tuned.